Hello my fellow Robocrafters and welcome to a Textus Tutorials. Today I am gonna build this arrow, the carbon quad uh, a copy of it, step by step. Um, so uh, and explain how I do it, while I do it, so you can uh, hopefully make your own uh, copy of it afterwards. So um, let's just have a quick look at it. I have two mega SMGs, four normal SMGs. A little thruster here on the back. Of course, four blades, rotor blades to uh, to make it a quadcopter. Some electro plates placed for protection, and primarily arrow rods. This build does quite all right in combat, uh, but it may be more of an odd but but it does good. It does good in combat, no doubt about it. it has high DPS, but it's a bit of a glass cannon. But I will now go to an empty bay and get started on building an, uh, a copy of this one. And that will be like bay 29, I think. Yes, that's an empty one. Okay, I'm gonna put down mirror tool. And starting with a single tier 10 block. And lift that one up. There. We're gonna build a 30 block long stick here first. So, now we are ready to uh, work on the tail, and I am going to put a block here, and then I'm going to put an inner down here, another block down here for later purpose, and then we're going to take some round prisms here, and one here, and then I'm ready to put on some arrow rods. Here, and then we're gonna build a link with blocks. Put on a few round prisms on that one. There and there. And we're gonna play, place two blocks here. A few round prisms. These are gonna be gun mounts later on. some few bl blocks here because this is where the pilot seat is going to be, like here in the middle. So here I'm going to put on some short ones. And then we're going to make a link here. And then we're going to put on some uh, long arrow rods on that one. And here we're going to make a corner, so to speak. And in the bottom one of this one, we are putting a long arrow rod, and on the top we are taking the short one. And on the short one we are going to place a tier X1 cube, and in front of that a tier 10 cube. And then we are going to make another corner here. And long arrow rods here and there. And then we're gonna link these together with armor blocks. You could use arrow rods here in between this area, but um, I find it to be a little stronger to have some better armor there, and a bit better. That way, I've tested it with only arrow rods, and it's too squishy. So here goes some short arrow rods, and um, we're gonna close it here. So gonna continue in the front. Same concept. I'm gonna build a link here as well, which will always also be a little reinforced. Put one block down here, also a gun mount, and then 
few error, more error ups here. So, so far so good. Now let me get started on the front here. Prisms again, right down, right down, um, well, down up here first, and then I'm gonna put this one here to reinforce a little bit. Yes, that's how it is. And there, and then we're gonna put a TX1 cube here. There. Here it is, kind of reinforced in the front. There. So we built the front. Now we are ready to um, to get started here in this area in the pilot seat. And I am gonna place I'm gonna place a uh, layer of tier ten blocks here. Then I'm gonna put on some, some arrow rods out here on the side. We're gonna delete this one here in the middle. Because we're not gonna use that. So here's a little bit of little bit of triforcing. I'm gonna put these ones down oh not here, but down here. And the layer up here. And then we are gonna put to have room for the pilot seat. I'm gonna paint, put on some these ones down here. And then we can place the pilot seat on top of that. There it goes. Now we're gonna build down below because this of course will not work. So we're gonna place these one right here. And now I would like to take some long round shaped arrow rods to like build a cockpit with. There and there. Same in the front. There and there. And on the top. Oh, that was too far away from each other. There you go. And there. Place some blocks up here, and the same goes down to the bottom. So now I'm ready to like fill out this area with the blocks. I'm just gonna make it as tanky as possible down here right now. So here it is, and then. I am ready to um, put on some prisms, which is gonna mount the electro plates. A few here, and then I'm gonna link them up here as well. Good. Well, let's put on the plates. There. And then I have the tier one shaped one. Now we're not done with the armor here because there can still be some uh, some tetras in it or prisms, and I'm gonna use the round prisms here and here, and also in the back here, and there, and you can fit some in the side as well. There. So now we have like the middle done complete. I only gotta place a few more blocks here just to reinforce it a little bit. Seat. And I have a short arrow rod in here. And one more prism in the middle here to reinforce it a bit in the top. And then we're gonna take some round tetras as well. There. So now we have built the pilot seat. And I'm gonna put, put, uh, put on some uh, 
parts of the front electroplates. Oh, wrong way. There you go. Now let's put on some um, some rotor blades. Let's go there, and this one goes here. And one in the back. And on that one, we're gonna place just this little one right back here. There we go. Let's see. I know I have some round prisms here as well. Four of those to re reinforce it a little bit in the front. So, I am ready to put on reinforcement here on this rotor blade. It could not be done before the rotor blade was placed, so it can be done now. A little reinforced around those. And um, I am now ready to put on a single thruster here. Facing that direction. And now we are ready for mounting some weapons. Megas go here, and on the Megas, we are gonna place more round tetras here and there, and in between them, I placed a little arrow rod. There we go. Now I will put on the normal SMGs, which we have already made four mounting points for them, or almost made them, because I'm just gonna put this one right here. And then we are ready to put on some normal SMGs. One goes in the front. One goes here. One goes here. And one goes here. But in that direction. Alright. And now we are ready to put on the last few smaller details. You can see we almost we almost ran out of CPU by now. So um, I reinforced like some joints on the on the robot, so it won't be weak in there. Um, and that is just what I will finish up with doing right now. Oh, sorry. Let's get back, Skelly, inside. And now I only have a few more CPU left. Where did I? I forgot something. Oh, there we go. These two to reinforce it in front. So that should be an exact copy, actually. Well, not exact because it's not with the carbon. It's just made with normal tier 10 both guns, thrusters, and plugs. But um, same amount of CPU, same amount of everything. So let's take it um, into practice map map and see how it performs. Is. Let's raise up. Scout Walker spotted. See, it flies pretty well. Kind of agile. Have high DPS. And when you play it on the meter, uh, because of the arrow rods, it's kind of like a regenerator build under your own dome. And because it's light, it can fly with the. Uh, it can fly with only one ruler. So if you get wounded, you just fly back home and heal back up quickly Mega and come back. Spotted. So, this is like the copy of uh, of Arrow, the carbon quadcopter. I hope uh, you are able to build your own from my guide here. Um, and if you like it, I hope you will share it, the, the, game, the, light, uh, the guide with uh, your friends. Um, and please leave me some comments for criticism, criticism and for future videos. But um, this was a guide to build this helicopter, or not helicopter, but quadcopter. And thank you for watching very much. And I hope to see you around next time for another texture tutorial.